Good morning. Uh, it's day three of um, what formerly used to be called the Gates Experiment. Um, excited to announce that we have a name for the program after a lot of debate, a lot of ideas, a lot of uh, discussion. Uh, the decision has been made to call our program RGEN, and I think that's a perfect name for us. One, it was developed by us, for us. Um, we decided to spell it capital R dash G E N and hopefully the students can speak more to why they chose uh, the name. In my mind, um, it's hard for me to explain it because the genesis was our gen. This is the way that our generation learns. This is the way that the group of kids born in 1999, 2000, how they want to learn because it's personalized to them, um, their generation. Um, the R, I take it symbolically as the Ridgewood generation. Um, the Ridgewood genesis of personalized learning starts here. Uh, that's my take on it. They're going to have a different take. Everyone's going to have their own take. It's beautiful. That's where the best names are. Um, so that was our big breakthrough on, on day two. Um, we're supposed to have, uh, I'm, I'm keeping a daily vlog just to kind of keep things updated. Um, so I'm going to speak to what's on my mind. Uh, it's a, an interesting experience running this pilot. I am very used to controlling the situation in the classroom and I've got to keep things in perspective. Um, being very aware of allowing the students to control as much of this project, as much of this program as possible. And with that um, comes decisions that are not made by me. And I think that's good and I need to realize that it's good. Uh, I was frustrated with yesterday how some of the things uh, went. Uh, that's because they weren't orchestrated by me. Uh, they're orchestrated by the class and that's how they think. So the best way I can think to handle this going forward, if you're watching this as a teacher, is that it's probably not good to control the situation in an environment like this. What we can do after a night of thinking about it is have reflections on, let's talk about this that happened yesterday. Is there a better way that could have done? Was anyone else frustrated with this? No? Fine, great. Anyone have any ideas as to what can go forward, how we can go forward with a better plan um, to make it better for everyone? Um, and <clears throat> help direct them with their decision making. Uh, keep showing them the map. Uh, to where the water is, but don't take them there. Uh, I think is going to have to be the key because there were many times yesterday where I needed to, I felt like I needed to jump in and say, man, you guys are, are really going down the wrong path here. Um, but I got to just more focus on showing them, take a look around, is this where you want to be? Maybe we should backtrack and, and head down a different path. Um, <clears throat> frustrating, but uh, at the end of the day, I was frustrated, but I looked around the room and I saw a lot of people that were really excited. We accomplished a lot yesterday. Um, I'm going to try to keep these things around five minutes. Uh, some might go longer, uh, but just to hit on, uh, yesterday was it was a huge day, and, and I really want to celebrate the fact that we came up with a name. Um, we got all of our social media platforms launched. Um, everything from Twitter to Instagram to Facebook. Uh, we've got a Gmail account, YouTube channel, which you are now watching. Um, all of these things are launched on, gosh, that's day two of the program, um, our launch dates. Um, there's plans in place, things are spinning. Uh, it's going to take some of the people in the class a little bit more time to get acclimated to the culture of jump in and contribute. Uh, many have not been asked to jump in and contribute on their own and hopefully that atmosphere of everybody 
pitching in together will become contagious. Um, I have a good feeling that it will be. Uh, we have a lot more to do before we settle into the personalized learning and passion projects and career pathways uh, that are going to come here. There's still a lot of groundwork to set up. Um, and in many ways, it might be easier if there were five people just doing it. Um, but that goes back to the issue of control. Uh, there's 25, and it's a little bit of chaos. And some people have commented that it's a little chaotic, and I don't function well in a chaotic atmosphere. Um, and we're going to have to find ways to go beyond uh, this room uh, to sort of escape that chaos if, if it's necessary. Um, so we'll talk about a little of that today. Our goals for today are um, we're going to continue with common language uh, setup, um, accountable talk. We're going to finish our classroom vision. Um, we'll look forward to getting that posted. Um, a lot of the stuff is, is procedural. How do we do this? Um, finding ways to do this, giving the kids the freedom. Just go and handle this type of thing. Um, we're, work, we're doing better on not asking me to solve problems. But like I said, it's, it's day two. Uh, and I think we should celebrate the positives but not lose sight of the things we want to work on. Um, okay, uh, that's, that's where we're at for an update. Um, looking forward to a great day, and uh, thanks for watching.